Conservative pundit Laura Ingram sent out a barrage of tweets the other day on her pet issue, which is undocumented immigration. And she made it perfectly clear that she thinks you should be jealous of Guatemalan refugees. So, let me give you some details. She says, quote, Taxpayer-funded travesty feds to open luxury resort for illegal children. Tennis and sauna, anyone? And then she shares a link to a bullshit website. More on that later. Uh, she says, How many out-of-work, underemployed U.S. citizens will make it to a luxury resort this year? Hashtag cut off the money. Yeah, moocher, parasite, immigrant kids, get a job. Oh, what, you're four? And you're escaping from a war-torn region because of the drug war that we started? Oh, get a job anyway, parasite. She says, quote, We tried to warn you in 2012. Huge Fed dollars funneled to church groups and private contractors to take care of illegal alien kids and families. Hashtag Gang of Eight. When do they get their taxpayer-funded cell phones to use at their taxpayer-funded accommodations to call their taxpayer-funded lawyers? Ha 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 ha. You get it? They're moochers. Is she clear enough how she feels about uh, refugee children? The more I listen to people like Laura Ingram, the more obvious it becomes to me that she's simply a bad person. She really is. Th this isn't how you're supposed to treat human beings. This isn't how you're supposed to treat human beings. Look, I understand that there's, a, you know, agreement and disagreement, and there's a spectrum of debate that's acceptable on the issue of immigration. To say stuff like this, you're way outside of, you know, what's reasonable to normal people. You, you just sound like a douche, okay? I don't know how else to put it, but it's the reality. So, where do I begin with her factual errors also? The taxpayer-funded cell phones that she's referring to here, they called them Obama phones in the 2012 election, you remember that? Uh, well, those are actually Reagan phones. Oops their overlord saint chancellor emperor Ronald Reagan originally came up with that program. It was created in 1984. It's called the Lifeline Program, and it's phones for the poor in case of emergency. And then I believe it was expanded in 1996, and of course, as a result of this, blame Obama. He never signed anything about the program. He might not have even known about the program, but naturally, it's Obama phones. Blame Obama. Uh, why? Because some ignorant woman in Cleveland called it an Obama phone, and of course right-wing media took it as fact, because they always take what uh, ignorant uh, African-American ladies say as fact. Oh, that's right, they've never done it before until that story, and of course what she was saying is wrong, because Reagan created the program. Uh, she's also outraged over the cost of helping these r refugee kids, and I'd love to see a breakdown of what percentage of the federal budget really goes into that. Like, what percentage of the federal budget is actually helping these kids? I would venture to guess it's probably point zero 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 one percent if that. And then meanwhile, of course, Wall Street and defense contractors are the biggest welfare queens in the country, and it's totally unearned. You know, Wall Street fucked over the entire nation and bankrupted their own companies, and they just got this massive taxpayer bailout. Laura Ingram, she doesn't talk about that. What is she so concerned about fiscally? Oh, there's a few Guatemalan kids and Honduran kids that might need some water in a hot pocket. Oh, I'm so angry, you fucking moochers. Yeah, it's funny. You weren't screaming about mooching when it was uh, Halliburton and KBR and Raytheon and Boeing and the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq. It's funny how that works. And my two favorite points about this. That tennis and sauna resort that she's talking about here, she says it costs $50 million and it's uh, government funded. It actually costs $3.8 million, and it's a Baptist group that was going to buy it, not the government. And they were only going to temporarily house uh, immig immigrant children there, immigrant refugees there. They weren't going to permanently keep them there. So every aspect of what she said is false. It's not $50 million and the government's not paying for it. None of it's tax dollars. None of it's tax dollars. It's private charity. It's a religious group. Okay, and what happened? I thought you were a Christian, right? I thought you loved Jesus. You say, talk about that all the time. Did you read the Bible on immigration? It's as liberal as can possibly be. 
but she just fumbles the facts and doesn't care. Why? She's Laura Ingram. You know, she doesn't give a fuck. Whether it's taxpayers or private business, whether it's 50 million or th uh, 3 million, 3.8 million, eh, fuck it, who cares? I just, I hate immigrants, so let me just fucking tweet things that are factually incorrect. And final, final thing. I mean, what do you want to do? See, that's the thing they never have an answer for. What do you want to do? Do you want to put these kids in a garage? you want to put them in a fucking woodshed? And uh, now, all of a sudden, Laura Ingram is concerned about the vacation time of Americans. She's like, oh, look at these immigrant kids getting vacation time. Uh, when was the last time you took vacation time? Huh? Huh? Well, maybe they would have taken some vacation time if the Republicans didn't block every attempt that the Democrats made to give people paid vacation time. So you're against vacation, uh, vacations, unless it's in the service of saying that, uh, oh, immigrant kids have it better than you. Then you go, oh, man, you should really get vacation time. They don't, she doesn't know whether she's coming or going. She fumbles the facts completely. And the bottom line is, it just all stems from bigotry and hatred. She doesn't like these immigrant kids, and so she's going to lash out. And, of course, the saddest thing is, she supports the drug war. The drug war is what absolutely destroyed Central America and Mexico, and then you have refugee kids that come here because they got nowhere else to go, and it's literally more dangerous to live in Guatemala right now than it is to be in Iraq at the height of the war, right? But she brushes that aside, doesn't care about that, doesn't care that our policy affected them when they come here and all they want is a roof over their head and all they want is a, a little bit of water. She, no, fuck you. Turn around and go walk through the desert. Hey, if you're with them, man, that's fine, but just know you're a loathsome human being.